Okay, so we have talked about finding your total daily expenditure for expenditure for calories. Um, and I'm going to use the numbers that we used last time. I'm going to use my caloric intake and show how to create a proper deficit to achieve good, healthy, lasting weight loss. Last week, we did our BMR calculation to find out how many calories a day we're actually burning. My TDE came in at 2120. I'm going to round down a little tiny bit to 2000 because I've been slacking at the gym and it's easier to use round numbers. So 2000 a day times seven days, I'm burning about 14,000 calories a week. All right. Now we also know that one pound of fat equals 3,500 calories. So if I want to lose a pound of fat a week, I need to subtract 3,500 calories from my 14,000 per week. All right, so that gives us a number of 10,500 calories a week, and that equals 1,500 a day. So using this simple technique, I know that if I want to lose a pound a week, um, I need to cut down my calories to 1,500 a day. Um, so there's two things to be careful for. One, if you're doing high intensity workouts Monday and Wednesday, make sure that you eat maybe 1,700 calories a day on those days and cut back to 1,400 on the days that you're not burning so much energy. Your body needs to replace the energy that it's spending in those high intensity workouts, otherwise you won't recover properly and you won't get the most out of your workout that you can. The other thing that you wanna look out for is what your goals, like realistic goals. So if I wanna lose five pounds using the method that we just did, it's gonna take me about five weeks. So you have to be prepared for when you step on the scale, that you're not gonna notice five or 10 pounds every single time, and that what you're looking for is a consistent weigh-in, maybe every Monday morning, um, and to drop, hopefully, between a half a pound and a pound. Um, you need to take into account your water weight. Um, if you ate a lot of salt on Sunday or if you had a cheat meal on Saturday and it still might be clearing your body, um, and the important thing is not to get discouraged. Maybe even a weigh in every two weeks. If you know that the scale is your trigger, it definitely is for me. Um, I'll get on the scale a couple days before my girl time and freak out that I'm a couple pounds up when in all actuality it's not fat, it's water.